All right, so we're here in the Prius and we already have a phone mount there. So what I wanna do is I wanna put the CarPlay screen right there. And what we have is... So today we're going to look at this Chinese CarPlay Android Auto Box and this is a 10.3 screen and there's a whole bunch of uh, different ones. This is PND-Q8 uh, but yeah there's there's a whole bunch of sellers that sell the exact same thing just under a different label. But I wanted this one because um, this one had a 10.3 screen which I like and it's got a, comes with a memory card which is good take a look at what's inside All right, here's a look at the screen uh, looks like it's actually been used yeah no this looks like it's been used this mount is actually kind of cool because it's Flexible. That, that's a pretty neat style mount. But here's the camera in the back, and it, it is adjustable, which is cool. That's the way you pivot it. A little worried because it does look like it's been opened before, but we'll see how it works. So it comes with cigarette lighter adapter. So if you want to just plug into your cigarette lighter, that makes life easy. Let's see, there's two ports here. Let's see what this other one is. Uh, it looks like there's an audio jack or something right here too, but we'll see what that is. We'll read the directions. Here's the auxiliary port. and. I'm not going to actually use this, but this is a backup camera because my car already has a backup camera, so I'm not going to use it. But if you do need a backup camera too, this comes with a backup camera. But if you don't want to use it as a backup camera, you could actually put it in your cabin and have a front facing camera, you know, one that faces your cab. And here's the manual and hopefully I don't really need the manual too much because really you just plug it in and you sync your CarPlay and you should be good to go so we'll give it a shot see what it looks like mount goes something like that and there's some flexibility in this mount so that's nice because it'll accommodate some curvature to your dash we're gonna tape that on and give it a shot. All right, you wanna clean the surface with some alcohol wipe. Let's plug this in and test it before we hook everything up. Make sure it sinks before I waste my time. All right, we're just gonna plug it into the cigarette lighter. There you go, let's power it up. All right, you just heard the internal speakers. It's a pretty clear looking screen, so let's see if we, if we could uh, sync this thing. All right, so it looks like it's reconnecting. We turned it on and off and it reconnected, so that's a good sign. So now, uh, let's. it's just plugged in right there, but we'll now do the mount. Put the adhesive on this back and you can see it's flexible all right let's stick it up Make sure it's on real tight. 
All right, I got that in there and you can see the camera. You could kind of extend it and tilt it a little bit if you want. So there's some adjustment. So you might need to have it a little bit high to see what you want. The wires are just wrapped around right now and it comes down to the cigarette lighter that you saw earlier. So this is an auxiliary where we could uh, hook up the the audio. So let's try that. Let's try to see if the, we can hook up the audio and not use the speaker of of the the unit. Let's see how that works. The Prius has a audio auxiliary port inside the center thing. So we'll test that out to see if it works before we put away the wires. So let's uh, play some music to see if we could hear it. Let's see audio. Let's see if we can. Oh, here we go. Let's try auxiliary output. All right, now let's try it. All right, so now it works. Okay, so you needed to set that to auxiliary, and now you have the music coming through your speaker. So that's perfect. All right, so let's try to do it through the FM modulation, we'll go, let's say, 80s. I'm trying to find a station that is not used around here. Let's try 87.7. So audio, FM, let's see. Oops, 87.7. So let's see if this works. We'll turn on some music. Yes, not coming, th not very good. You could hear it. It sounds terrible. So that's, it works, but it's not good. Let's see if we try a different station. Putting our work through. How about 88.3? We'll see if that improves anything. That actually got better. It's still not great, but it's better. I can't leave the music on because of copyright issues. All right, 89.9, let's try that. Let's see if that's even better. No, it's about the same. Um, it's The sound quality is not great if that's what you want to do. But uh, with the auxiliary, the, the sound actually sounded pretty darn good. So let's go back to auxiliary. All right, let's try the music again. See it. All right, that sounds much better. So that's the way we'll do it, and then we'll clean up these wires to coming down. All right, let me turn that down. So we made the mistake of putting it on here, and we covered up the, the mileage meter and stuff like that. So we moved it to this side, and we just tilted the camera a little bit so that it's still facing forward. That's the way it looks. So you know, we'll give it a shot for a while to see how well it works. But for right now, it's it's working okay. Um, there's some pops happening every now and then when um, when you're on the audio, but I'm not sure if you know maybe the cable is not was not connected real tight or anything like that. But that's something to think about if uh, like it cuts for a second. So I don't know if it's the connection or it's uh, this unit, but that's. That's what we're getting from this guy. So we'll, we'll give it a shot for a few days. Right, last thing is we're gonna put in the memory card for the for the camera. All right, so the memory card goes back there. Please set the menu format. Okay, so we have to set the memory card format. Format SD. Okay, I guess that's it.
Okay, we can start recording now. Sounds good. Let's put this back. All right, so now my son's got CarPlay on his old Prius that he didn't have any kind of adequate navigation on. As I mentioned before, there is a reverse camera. I'm not hooking it up because we have a reverse camera already. So that's it for now. Pretty easy. There's no wiring to do if you use the cigarette lighter accessory. Um, that's it. All right, so now that we've been driving around using this for a while, one thing we realized that, that our double-sided tape that we use sucked. So I did have to um, rig a new mounting thing. I really had few mounts that stick except this one, so I just used that. And I kind of rigged it to fit this thing. But that's a different story. But, you know, the screen itself is actually really bright. Uh, I cleaned up the routing. I put it through here. And it comes down underneath here to the cigarette lighter. So now the routing is very clean, which is good. I think I like it. Um, some things we learned. All right, so let's check out the front camera, the way it looks. So I don't have the back backup camera replaced. And it's a little bit dark right now, but look at that. I think the, the picture is still pretty clear, and that's what we're looking at in real life, and it, it's a little bit dark. It's at dusk right now, and again, you're able to tilt this camera a little bit to whatever you like, so that's pretty cool, and there's also a split camera mode. Let's see. All right, so if you go settings, car play position, you could go um, put the camera on the right. Okay, so this is the split screen mode. If you want uh, the camera on your left, you could also go back and so you go back to the home screen. Put the camera on the right. So there's the camera on the right, and there's, again, my element. And I, I don't like this because it's a little distracting. So for the most part, um, just go to home. keep it in full screen and here's part of the problem see this is the nighttime screen and you think and you would think it's because it's nighttime it's in dark mode but no it's it's like this all day and I can't get it to the brighter mode um, th there's a setting for that but it just doesn't work so I have the appearance on automatic and it it's actually always stays dark uh, so that's another um, drawback, something to think about, that uh, the auxiliary jack, it, it works sometimes. Well, it works, but there's a pop-click sound, um, so that's annoying, so we, we decided not to use it. Um, the radio, the, the FM signal, it actually works sometimes on, on some stations, you know, like 87.9, it actually worked pretty good, but then it loses sync every now and then, which is also annoying. Um, so, and plus the sound quality is not good when you do the FM transmit, but what I found anyway is that I like listening to my radio, um, while, while I'm using my CarPlay maps or something. I like just having a separate radio and using the speaker of the CarPlay, um, uh, and I'm able to connect, let's say my Pandora to my car's. Um, stereo at the same time so that that actually gives me good music quality so I could listen to use my my car stereo uh, system for Pandora or you know Spotify whatever you like to use and the radio and basically I use this for the map so that, that actually works out perfect that's the way I like it I actually found a way where you could connect this through the Bluetooth of your phone which is connected to your car stereo so uh, you can Play it through your car speakers without using the cables or anything. You could do that wirelessly through Bluetooth. You hit this FM thing and you select the Bluetooth feature like that. And now, at, of course, you have to sync your phone to um, your, uh, your car. So let's go back to CarPlay. And from CarPlay, pick song and you can see 
It's high quality because it's Bluetooth and it's through the speakers. Awesome. So, you know, it, it's not a perfect system, but it, but it is cheap and it does work. So, and my feeling is that it, it's a mild positive. I mean, I'm more positive than negative because, you know, it's a great value purchase. Yes, that's a good thing.